where I don't think that we need to be like a man to be successful. We can still be soft and nice and still get your point across without having to be a bitch. But if you need to be a bitch, it's okay. I know that I can do every job of every single one of my employees if I needed to. So if they mess with me or don't want to do their job, I will most happily replace anybody and do the job myself until I find somebody. As far as in, in business, don't feel sorry for being successful. Don't feel bad because you did a better job than somebody else did. We feel bad around the people that we work with because we don't want to be successful or overshadow somebody. Well, screw it because they'll overshadow you in one second. Where I don't think that we need to be like a man to be successful. We can still be soft and nice and still get your point across without having to be a bitch. But if you need to be a bitch, it's okay. If you believe in something, then go for it and don't change your mind. Don't let anybody change that that opinion when you know that it's right. If you believe that something's going to work in your workplace, you have to be able to speak in a professional way that changes the mind of the person you need to change. You don't need to change the mind of the other people who are working in your office. You need to change maybe one person's mind. So understand how to communicate that properly. Something that Ranuji and I do on daily if it needs to happen is make them understand that their decisions are 50-50. I had to have many talks with a couple of girls and contestants saying, you have to speak up. This is not acceptable. If you have an opinion, say it. Do not let him or her shut you down or tell you that it, you know, give you the answer before you're able to even give your opinion. My personal world, yes, Daniel is very hands-on that it's extremely important to me. Even as we speak, he's at, he's at home taking care of them while I'm here sitting with you. I think every woman should have that in their life if they can. That's something that should be like, a, not a first date question, but maybe a little bit into the relationship. <laughs> Are you okay with changing diapers if we get married and we have kids? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Tweak India.